Opinion Sonnet 13. Don't, and it has a little epigraph. Don't blame bat soup for the Wuhan virus. They don't just gobble down four-legged and two-legged creatures. They slurp slime depositing life forms residing on pond bottoms. They bury their eggs in dirt dug up from children's graveyards. They make broth for dumpling soup from bones of rabid dogs. They scrape donkey hides and turn the piles of pickings into youth jelly. They rub bird droppings into dark crevices in pursuit of yellow beauty. They refuse to change their names to soft letters that roll off the tongue. They hide others among them that harbor torrents of bad and ugly feelings. They claim their ancestors were inventors when there were farmers crouching, crouching in mud. They concoct history so fantastical that not even small children believe them. They, they invented fireworks, noodles, and kung fu, which hardly adds up to a civilization. They openly sneeze and snicker about it, then scatter like mice. They're nothing more than scribbled names on the fly leaf of a tattered book. They might make good sneakers, but they're sneakier than snakes. Opinion Sonnet 15. We're not talking about Asians. We're talking about China. It's a smart business to name a restaurant chain after a cuddly bear who happens to be a vegetarian, but it's another thing to go big game hunting in the African savanna. I would just as soon turn a panda into a huggy coat or hat, importing kudu horns or making a zebra into a rug. This is real and different. For one thing, it's permanent, not just a bowl of green weeds and brown meat scraps gobble wolf to slurped up or jammed down the sticks. Standing beside a dead giraffe that you shot on a hot day proves something about the depth of your character. I respect a man or woman that displays big game trophies. We had Teddy Roosevelt, his big stick policy, and rough riders. What does China have? Old men with canes and fallen zippers. Opinion Sonnet 22. Official Instructions. Condolences are a teaspoon of non-lethal poison injected into sugary cakes. Prayers are a one-size-fits-all set of sweet nothings used in extreme situations. Hearts are recyclable red valentines who send virtually to people who knew the victim. Grief is an incurable disease that afflicts others. Always make sure to act sympathetic. Remember to combine words such as heartfelt, sympathy, and suffering. Remember to say I understand whenever possible in the shortest amount of space. Try to act like whatever affliction you are responding to isn't normal and commonplace. You might need to point out that the Chinese don't have words for pain and anguish. You should not explain that this is why they are inscrutable and a complete mystery. The Chinese might have other words for grief, but all of them are unpronounceable. When you send a prayer, make sure none of the words are visible to nosy reporters. Condolences are an oversized envelope in which you, in which you, into which you cram all sorts of knickknacks. Prayers do not need to be memorized since you don't have to say them aloud. Tell everyone the Bible's your favorite book, but don't say which part you like best.